Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savancy. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have an absolutely ridiculous show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, I don't know what's up with Gilbert Arenas, man. I don't know what's up with Gilbert Arenas. As you guys know, since retiring from the NBA, Gilbert Arenas is now uh, talking sports. And initially, before he came into the sports media landscape, a lot of us were going to were a bit curious to hear some of his basketball takes. Initially, when he came out, he started putting out some really, really wacky, outlandish takes, right? That, that left a lot of people scratching their heads. Um, and a lot of us, after a while, began to dismiss Gilbert Arenas as some kind of troll. Like, uh, only a troll would say some of the things that he would say. But then, over the last few weeks and months, he seemed to have kind of turned a new page, a new chapter. And he started making, giving basketball takes that make a lot of sense and really showing some of his basketball knowledge. And a lot of us out here were like, okay, all right, all right. We're beginning to see a change in Gilbert. Now we can finally start to listen to him. But then what happened? This John Morant situation came out. And of course, the Zion Williamson situation came out. And just when you expected Gilbert Arenas to give us some in-depth analysis, he basically started to put out ridiculous comments. One of his shows, he was there holding a handful of money, throwing money, basically making a joke out of the entire uh, situation. And as you guys know, John Morant has been suspended for 25 games um, for next season because of the things that he did all on his own for repeating an act that got him initially suspended for six games by his team and two games by the NBA. A few months later, he goes out there and essentially reenacts the same event and gets himself suspended again. In the midst of all of that, after he put out a statement saying, you know, it's my fault, I accept responsibility, blah, 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 blah. Then another video comes out of him holding a fake weapon, showing like, oh, no, 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 it's a toy, it's a toy, it's a toy. And the people out there were like, can somebody just take a phone away from the Like, just get him away from the internet. Like, just take a phone away from him, right? So that was that. So this morning was doing some research and I came across an article that features some comments that Gilbert Arenas made and I got this article via uh, fadeawayworld.net. And when I read the headline of the article, I was like, there's there's just no way. There's just no way that this, uh, that this report could be true. But of course, it was true. Um, and, initi- and, and essentially, rather, what happened was Gilbert Arenas sat down with TMZ Sports, if I'm not mistaken, to talk about the John Morant situation. And would you believe it? Gilbert Arenas actually said that it's unfair that the NBA suspended him for 25 games. So what we want to do is we want to play exactly what Gilbert Arenas had to say. I want you guys to take uh, to pay close attention to what he had to say. And then we're going to come back and react to this comment. Take, t- yo, take a listen to what Gilbert Arenas had to say here. Take a listen to that. A lot of people still obviously talking about Ja Moran and the uh, the fallout. Finally, we learn what the suspension is going to be. Ultimately, the NBA and Adam Silver decides to give him 25 games. Uh, I, I guess just starting right there, Gilbert, you've had people who have said it's too harsh. You've had people who have said it's not enough. Uh, from your standpoint, what do you think? Um, it's too harsh. And he- he- here's the reason. Um, the NBA gun suspensions... The actual gun suspensions, the actual gun suspensions has only been one, three, and seven games, right? Seven games has been the the the, the biggest that was a gun being fired um, in the crowded place. Yeah. Now, the suspensions like me and what Ja got is not related to gun. It's related to behavior, which right. is conduct detrimental which has no number. It can be from one to 82 games, depending on how they feel in that moment, which is, that's the unfair part. Like, I would rather just take the gun suspension. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, give much me, less games, yeah. yeah. Give me three, seven games. So you're punishing him, but you're not actually punishing him for the actual crime he has committed. Now you're going off of uh, public perception, which is the unfair part. It is interesting, Gilbert, right? Because then when you look at, okay, hey, this guy, Ja, was in Tennessee. He didn't break any laws, as far as I know. I've heard people say, hey, why is he even being suspended? 
It's it's public perception. The public wants him to be stopped. So now the NBA comes in and say, all right, we have to make it look reasonable, right? Um, yeah. Where if you just say, hey, wait, he hasn't broken in a law, then you're like, well, he's an NBA player. He needs to be a role model, right? Then you start tapping into that. Now it's uncharted territories where, all right, 25 games, where the NBA association is like, wait, hold on. What did he do again? Oh, because he made himself look bad? That's not 25 games because he made himself look bad. This is self-inflicted, right? Yeah. Self-inflicted means he's already lost. He lost what? Powerade? Yeah. That's that's a fine. Powerade, find him, right? His yeah. shoes, they took his shoes away. Well, they brought him back. The, the NBA, he hasn't broken a crime for you to step in. He's already taken L's. He's taken L's on his uh, public image. He's taken L's on his public um, outside of the NBA corporations, right? So he's being punished for what he did. NBA, you can't step in until an actual crime has been committed. And now you're coming in and trying to make the writers and the public feel happy about what you're doing, which is the unfair part. I'm pretty sure they're going to fight it. And it'd be probably 10, 15 games. So you heard his comments. This man said... Public perception, which is the unfair part. Good Lord, God. Jesus. Oh, God. When Gilbert Arena said that, I, I damn near fell out of my chair. I just could not believe that he actually made that point. Help me understand something. Is the NBA like an underground secret basketball league or is it like a global brand? Just help me understand something. Is the NBA an underground league where people are like just there paying $200 to get into games to watch players play or is it an international brand? Well, obviously, it's an international brand and a lot of NBA games are shown where? On television. And how does it work on television? When you have your product being shown on television, what comes with that is what advertisers. And advertisers are not going to want to partner with a league that does things or that has players that do things that they themselves, in this case we're talking about their brands, uh, don't want to be associated with. They don't want to be. The NBA just signed, what, a $75 billion TV deal. We are not talking about loose change right now. We're talking about mega bucks. The NBA is a global brand. And they don't want to be associated with any nonsense. Now, you may say it's not nonsense. Fantastic. That's your opinion. The only problem is you're not the one paying John Morant. The Memphis Grizzlies, which are a team, which is a team that is part of the NBA, they're the ones paying his salary. So you're damn right there is a public perception. If these guys, if there wasn't a public perception, trust me, there would be no basketball. Why? Because the public is the one that patronizes the sport. By watching the games, by buying the paraphernalia, by going to the arena, the arenas. To pay for tickets, pay for food, etc., etc., etc. So, of course, the NBA is going to do whatever it can to ensure that their pristine image remains the same. So, you don't what? So, you don't mess up the money. This ain't complicated, folks. You don't need to go to MIT to get this one. It's very, very simple. So, the things that John Morant does that don't reflect well on the NBA is going to have an impact on the NBA's bottom line if you have sponsors pulling out, for the example, uh, was Power Aid the one that left it? They said, now we, we out. Money's gone. So if it's going to affect the NBA's bottom line, in return, it's going to affect John Moran's bottom line. How does in Gilbert Arenas get this? That's number one. Number two, how is it unfair? Who's the one? This is the part that I don't understand. This was something LaShawn McCoy said on uh, uh, Fox Sports 1. I can't believe he said it. That they're doing. What is this thing that they're doing something? Who's the one doing something to John Morant? Who? 
they they're doing this to him who is the day john moran is doing it to himself how about we practice a little bit of self-accountability for a change how about we stop pointing fingers at other people for things that we do? Was Adam Silver sitting in the car with him and his friend listening to NBA Youngboy? Now, help me understand. Was Adam Silver in the car sitting with him like, yo, yo, throw it out. So how are you going to blame it on the league? Or is it that you just want John Morant to do his own thing and nobody should say nothing? I don't understand where some of these points come from. It's almost like a Sif Gilbert Arenas, like when he when he goes home from the studio, he 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 flies back to, to Saturn. I don't understand it. Gilbert is acting like he doesn't live in the world. There are a lot of things that can get you fired that are not uh uh things that can uh uh land you in jail or break the law. Y'all know that, right? You know if you do things at your work, at your office, at your job, that they don't deem correct, you know you can get fired, right? But you you know that. You know that. Do you know if you show up to work repeatedly late, they could fire you? Did you break? A, did you break a law? Did you break a law when you come up to when you showed up to work late? No, but they fired you. So what? That's unfair. Like it's it's unreal. I couldn't believe he said that. I couldn't believe. And see, this is the thing that I want to say quickly before we close. You see, some NBA players are running, hiding behind the guise of, "Well, I played the sport." Yes, no one is disputing the fact that you played the sport. I was listening to Gilbert Arenas just the other day on Vlad TV talking about the last play that the Lakers ran and how he would have broke it down, blah, 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 blah. The guy knows basketball. But just because you know basketball doesn't mean that you can reason at a high level. You can be able to reason on a basketball court, sure. Sure, because you're performing your job. But when we're talking about basic intellect, those two things don't correlate. They don't correlate. And I think a lot of people are confusing the two. Well, he plays a great, he's, he played in the NBA, he was a great player, so therefore, everything that he says as it pertains to the NBA makes sense. No, that's stupid. Listen to what people are saying, process it. Does it make sense to you or does it not? I couldn't believe he said, but then again, this is Gilbert. I don't, I don't, even, know, I don't even know what to say. This, this, this is what he does. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about his comments, whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show.